you know what it's time for. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> Only one escape. Ah, the balls. <laughs> I love it. I love that. I love this part. It's been a couple weeks since we did some fucked up but funny, oh, and I've got yeah. some good shit tonight. Let's see it. It's 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 bad. It's, it's good bad. shit, but it's bad. It's bad, but it's you good. Know? And we're going to start out with something that I'm sure is going to make you sweat with embarrassment. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. I hope you're prepared. If you haven't, if you don't have a drink, you should probably do it now. Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you catcalling girls today? Because I heard you were catcalling right, girls stop it. today. She's got a wand. And she's got crazy eyes. L look at that face. Okay. This is... This is like some Hogwarts shit. She came out of a closet. <laughs> uh, she probably has some Hogwarts on her shit, if you know what I mean. Yeah, oh, yeah. Some HPV with some... <laughs> Heavily penis vagina. HPV for her HPV. <laughs> We're going to have a little bit of a problem. I am the most alpha wizard in all of the land. Oh, my. I'm going to put a spell on you. Oh, my God. Call girls, you're a beta. Don't be sad if no one wants to date ya. Oh my. Call girls, you're a beta. Don't be sad if no one wants to mate ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, because you All know right. somebody who dresses like that obviously doesn't go out in public looking for the attention of men, right? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I am feeling the embarrassment of her <laughs> children that she doesn't have yet. <laughs> I, when, she probably not going to have any, let's they, be honest. When, you know, when they see this shit on TV in, in 30 years from now. She's probably one of those chicks who's going to give herself a celebration cake after she sterilizes herself because, you know, she's going to expect everybody to call her stunning and brave. Uh, yeah, that that could be the case. But if she has, she has kids 30 years from now, oh, my God. It's amazing to me that, you know, these, first of all, that these chicks exist. Second of all, that they don't have enough self-awareness to realize that when the cat calling stops, then they're really going to have something to bitch about. Well, and then they should really start worrying. Yes. Because guess what? When the cat calls stop and you are still in the game of magical chairs, <laughs> you are not going to get a seat. That is true. The, they are li you literally become invisible to most men. You know what's going to happen. You know where you wind up after you become invisible to most men. Stop! Don't touch me there. This is my no no square. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Watch that one more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> genius. Absolute <laughs> genius. <laughs> oh, man. I lost my shit when I saw that video. I'm like, that is going on the stream. That is too good. Don't die on me, man. <laughs> oh my god, the spinning thing at the end. Is... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's funny. Well, you know, it wouldn't be fucked uh, up but funny if we didn't follow it up with a huh? Nice ass. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be real! <laughs> it can't be real. It can't but... be real. I'm just wondering, like, if there's, like, a secret cut in here or something, or is he actually holding something else in his other hand that would make it... I, I don't... I don't know. Let's look. <laughs> Dude, listen, if that was real, uh, she'd be going right to the hospital, because the force of that was enough to, like, give her a couple stitches in that orifice. I mean, that is unquestionably a real effect. I mean, it, it, it looks... How'd they know. do that? I don't even know. I, I don't know. I mean, that they could have had an invisible edit in there where they changed the match in his hand to something else, or uh, maybe it's not actually a match. It's some kind of a firecracker or something. Yeah. Either way, it seems a little unsafe for just a simple, like, yeah. seven-second internet video. I, I would say somebody got burned. 
A little bit, yeah. You're probably not in a good place. Oh God, you remember the one where the, the dude had the, the 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 bottle rocket got stuck in his ass because oh, he went off and he clinched. Ugh. Listen, uh, uh, listen, Ugh. I, I have a lot of experience in my youth fucking around with fireworks. Oh, I know you do. And uh, I had a buddy of mine. We were uh, what was it? Jumping jacks. You, they look like firecrackers. You light them and then they, they just basically bounce around. Well, we would light them and throw them into the air, and they would f- usually fly f- for a little bit, you know. Well, he lights one. He holds it till it starts to go off. Then he throws it into the air, and it promptly goes right down his sleeve into his shirt. And he's like, <laughs> he's literally, his shirt is inflating with smoke. He's like, <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> and it, it burned him pretty, he, we, he had to go to the hospital. Damn. And it wasn't quite big enough where they had to do a skin graft. But, you know, we're talking a, a burn on his chest the size of a dinner plate. <laughs> his, his mom was so fucking pissed. Oh, I bet. Oh, Shit. my God. I had to bring him home. He was all doing the, the fucking sympathy fucking limp. His, <laughs> his mother comes out. Well, what happened? She How are you up. limping when you have a burn on your oh. chest? Oh, he, he was fucked. It, it was pretty bad. Okay. And, like, she looks at it, looks at me, what did you do? And I'm like, what me? Because, <laughs> listen, I was a bad example to many people in my youth. What could I say? Well, I mean, you know, there's also the story where you took, you know, a whole bunch of fireworks and wrapped them in clay and threw them in the open window of a police station, allegedly. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, there was Sergeant Penn, who lived down the street in the summers. On a Sunday, I remember I'd take two gross of bottle rockets, that's roughly 288, and put them in a one, oh, basically a big metal coffee can with cotton at the bottom. And I would put lighter fluid down there, put all the fireworks, and have like an eight-foot cannon fuse. And I, I know this really, this really bothered him. <laughs> I would go sneak to his backyard. Set it next to his pool, light the fuse, and run away. And by the time I got back to the house, the fireworks would start going off. It usually took about three to five minutes. <laughs> and there was a couple times you could literally hear him, God damn it! Because all day long he was picking up, you know, bottle rocket sticks and paper, going on his roof and picking up. Oh my God, it was comedy gold. <laughs> I'm not sure if it qualifies as comedy gold, but it's definitely something you're never going to be able to unsee. Oh, God, no! All right, so this is just water. It's just water. He's doing bad stuff. Oh, God. See, see, this is why women think there's no real men left. Oh, no! Ah! No! He pulled in his mouth! No! No! Oh, my God. Oh! No! (laughs) What the hell is this? What the Oh, my God! Ah! What is it? Uh, oh, oh God. my God! Why was he drinking toilet water? <laughs> Hang on, it's a little nauseous. I'm a little nauseated. <laughs> I'm a little nauseated. At the Why toilet. did he drink the toilet water? I'm a little nauseated at the oh, toilet water thing. Oh, for All the right. love of God! Uh, he, he had to be high or something. Oh, it just, oh. It just didn't look right. It, it, I'm sorry. Oh, it's so bad. That that was bad. That that was that, a bad. That one. was really bad. All right. Please, hopefully, no more of that. No, 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 there's no more of that. I mean. The, I mean, there could possibly be a little bit of this. Everybody wants a thick girl to ride their face <laughs> until they have a thick girl riding their face. And then all of a sudden, it's so we can't breathe. Well, you know, I was kind of hoping I wouldn't be able to breathe either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's actually going to seem <sighs> uh, quaint compared to the, uh, the Instagram twants guide to shit testing. Oh, here we go. Here are some tests that I play on men in order to see bitch. if they're going to be able to provide and protect me. Oh, yes. Uh, All right, hang not on. to mention, pay for your <clears throat> lip injections and plastic surgery. Now, what she's going to talk about here, and uh, I could, I'm just, I haven't seen this yet. I'm just talking about it here. She's going to explain the business and why she gives the business to dudes. And for those of you that don't know what the business is, it's basically when a woman finds an excuse to dismiss you. Yep. You've received the business. And then after they dismiss virtually every guy that approaches them and attempts to give them attention, around about 35, they wonder, where are all the good men at? Well, they're all in business for themselves at that age. Exactly. 
Because if they're not, I don't fucking need them. And you shouldn't either. Think no one needs you. Let's just get that clear right now. Okay. First, him paying for the date. Let's just stop this conversation in the back and forth. 50-50, the bullshit. First date, he needs to be paying. If he asks you out, yes. I would I would agree with you. Yeah. If he asks you out, <clears throat> yes. Absolutely. Yep. Because then there's a bit an element of tradition there. But yeah. if you ask him out and you still expect him to pay, fuck you. You're going Dutch. And I'm telling you right now, if I was gonna if I was talking to this woman, it would be like a coffee meet. If that. If you that. can tell by looking at her, she is way too expensive. Oh yeah. She looks like every Instagram thought that thinks that, you know, their only fans account income is gonna last into their forties. Yeah, it's not not it's not a thing, man. Yeah, you know, and all those mother and daughter accounts. Yeah, all those guys signing up for those accounts. You're totally bringing in half the income, fifty year old lady who looks like sour milk poured into a weather balloon, getting poked at with a slim jim. Have you seen the woman that was co-starring with Tom Cruise in the first uh, Top Gun? And then what she looks like now? Yeah. You literally, Tom Cruise looks virtually the same. And she and she looks like the woman with the fucked up arthritic hands. They used to serve my pizza <laughs> to me on high school. It was disgusting. She looks like the Incredible Hulk's pants when he's done with them. Dude, that woman, she, uh, oh, I just can't believe it. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, there's aging off a cliff. There's hitting the wall. And then they're somehow figuring out a way to do both at the same time. She aged. She That's aged, Kelly McGillis. She aged like a black hole. <laughs> she aged like banana pudding. Oh my god! <laughs> Shit, man, she was old before she got to the table from turns, the fridge. <laughs> it turns brown before you even get it to the table. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! I think that's on my it's on my feed on my Facebook page. Uh, it's okay, Kelly. We we know we still like you in Top Gun. I you should take our humor cellulitely. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> uh, I'm an asshole. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, speaking of assholes. 100%. And if he's not, then, like, goodbye. Comes with an example. This weekend, I went out to the bar in Miami, and I ran into someone that I had been following on Instagram. So we hung out for most of the night, and then as we See, now there's your problem. If you're meeting people that you follow on Instagram, they're getting just as much attention as you are, and you are an option. That's right leaving we both had ubers going separate his uber came first and he's like oh no i'll wait for you me in my head i'm like oh no like you don't have to wait for me being kind whatever and this man gets being kind all right no, no you're shit testing all right now hang on hang on she dismissed this guy he literally yes. is like i'll wait here for you no 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 and she said no 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 to. i'm good all right now and you're gonna see this is this is female nature here pay attention yep where and takes off it is 4 a.m in Miami, Florida, where no good is to come. Every well, you sent if, him away. If that was true, you wouldn't have an uh, internet career. But the thing is, is she, is she looked at him and said, "I'm fine. You can leave." So yeah. he leaves. He leaves, and it's still his fault. <clears throat> and it's still his fucking fault. Yep. Here, there you go, gentlemen. Yeah, you it's can... all your fucking fault, no matter what you do. And this is why women wonder. Why men don't listen to them talk. Because you don't know what you want. And even when you claim to know what you want, you it, still don't know what you want. It's not what you want. And we can't even take you at your own damn word. Oh, yep. But yes is no. And then they wonder why. Well, no, yes means yes and no means no. Well, clearly it doesn't. I shouldn't have to tell you. <laughs> you should know by now. Like, what? Motherfucker. Everything is shut down, and I'm standing by myself in the middle of the fucking street. Immediately, no. Immediately, no. If well, he, he already rejected you when you really think about it. I don't care about my safety and making sure that I get into my Uber safely. Um, technically speaking, he because did. you live in a major city like Miami, he is up to seven times more likely to be assaulted than you are. Absolutely So correct. you should be more concerned about his safety. And, but the thing is, she sent him away! Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. She sent him away because she wanted to send him away. Figuratively and literally. Okay. You're done. You're done for. And then if you don't... No, that's what they're going to be saying to you when you're 35 and you're trying to sling these guys back. 
Yep. I'll go ahead and double check. I made it safely. Bye. This man failed my protection test, so he never heard from me again. Oh uh, well, good. I I'm glad. I'm sure good. he's glad that he failed this protection test because the last thing that he would want to do is fuck you and then have you deliberately fail the protection test. Yes. If you know what I mean. But uh, if you she, remember the first article. But you know, she's a hit, <laughs> she looks like a Hispanic woman. Yeah. A Latina. I mean, she's she's at Men. like peak value at and, this point in her life, but in another 10 years, the, the thing is she looks like every fucking chick on Instagram. Yeah. She is a dime a dozen woman. Yeah. And she wants traditional treatment out of a man while she is a non-traditional woman. Yeah, and at best, she's like a seven in looks. She's probably 26 well, this 28. Is, I mean, there is so much makeup on her face. If you ran a finger through it, you could dig a World War One trench. Well, I'm not going to argue with you on that fact. There's little army men to just be listen, diving down in that shit. I mean, I have seen professional bump and grind shops in some women's houses where quite literally... There's like a station for the Spanx. There's a station for the push-up bra. There's a station with all kinds of goddamn makeup to include airbrushes, <laughs> weaves, <laughs> wigs, eyelash. I mean, it's insane. Yeah. Even fake tattoos. Yeah. Oh. That's it. But the thing is, there's it's so easy for these women to get cheap, shallow attention now. And they think it's going to last forever. Yep. And No, it's not. All of a sudden, when it's time to settle down, they're going to get cast aside like the sex of shit that they are because they do not carry the four Fs. And I'm not talking about your bra size. Fit, friendly, feminine, and fertile. Correct. If you do not have those four things, there is not a man alive who's going to write a check against you, and you did it to yourself. Correct. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for support or Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.